What's happening, everyone? It's DV, and we're back in Islands. And yeah, I look a little sus, right? I look a little sus, but you know, just ignore it. This is my disguise because we're going to go fishing. And typically speaking, when people see my avatar, they just start scrambling at me and then they block my fishing pole and then I can't fish because I can't see my line and I mess up and then I can't win. Yeah, so this is my try hard outfit. Don't don't judge. Don't judge. In fact, this is my rift. My, this is my rift royale outfit. This is pretty cool, right? No head. I look camouflage. So we're going to we're going to blend right into the, the atmosphere. Anyway, today we have a really cool update in islands it's a new event in fact it is a fishing festival so the fishing festival is back it's really really cool because there's a new fishing trophy it's really crazy looking it's like blue i'm going to show you that in a minute we also have a new um weapon in the game actually there's a couple new weapons in the game one of them is from the fish trophy i'm not fish trophy but the fish festival event as a reward it's a fish weapon I, I'm really, I'm really curious. I'm really curious about this fish. So there's also, like I said, there's this new scepter or weapon by the queen. So I'm going to show you what it looks like right here. It is the slime queen scepter. Now this thing is going to be insanely difficult. I'm hoping the devs actually make some changes to it because it's going to be insanely difficult to get because it does require 20 pink slime crystals. Now here's the issue with this. I only ever got one pink slime crystal. You can see I only have, I have zero of 20 because I used it for the orb over here, which was the queen one right here. So this is what I use mine for. It requires one pink slime crystal and I use this to make the orb, the slime queen orb. Now the downside of this is, let me tell you, it took me about 20 plus kills to finally get one of these crystals. 20 plus kills of the queen. I'm saying 20 plus, I think it was like more like 40, but I don't I don't recall. I would have to go through and count. But all I'm gonna say is it took me forever to get this um, slime crystal. I don't think it's a good idea to grind for this unless you have the materials already or you're really close. Like if you have like 10 of them, you've been grinding like crazy and you're really lucky then good for you um i'm assuming some people were hacking it too i don't know not 100 there but let me just tell you i spent about eight plus hours grinding this thing it's really really hard to grind if you're the grinding type especially most most of my viewers are then good luck it's going to be a really really cool scepter don't sell it for less than a billion all right is it's really hard to get right now so don't sell it for less than a billion so there's a cookie right here so you can make it using blueberry dough you hit up to bake a blueberry cookie i don't have any blueberries but this thing's pretty crazy i'm going to show you what the effect are so the blueberry cookie will give you 50 percent increased reward drops from mobs they also added a glass of milk which it will increase your damage by 50 percent against mobs i would just go ahead and use starfruit cake instead of that because apparently there's some issues with the milk okay so if you go over here at least right now i, I did report it to the devs but um if you go to milk right here it's a glass of milk you consume for 50 percent damage to mobs it requires a milk bucket. No problem. I already have 57 of those. But the empty jar is the big question. No one knows how to make empty jars. Like there's no way to get it. As of now, as of this video, no one knows how to get it. Now I was just, just literally just now also notified that they are removing this now. So I don't know what that means. If they're going to use empty potion bottles or something. Um, but this is going to change probably by the time you watch this video. Now the first thing you're going to want to do for this fishing festival, I'm going to show you all the steps because this is the number one question I kept getting asked during my stream. And even I had to ask my stream about this. So if you go over here to the workbench you can even do this on a tier one okay so you don't have, to have a tier four for this oh why is it opening cletus no i don't want to open up yeah, yeah there we go so you can see your fishing rods right here so um there's two different types there's the regular wooden fishing rod which is fine this one does require level i think it was like level 20 fishing or 12 fishing i can't remember but um iron fishing rod is going to be better it's going to give you a better chance to catch better stuff okay so that's the only reason why you have these two different ones this one's going to help you catch basic things if you want more rare fish you need the iron fishing rod i'm going to show you inside the skill tree real quick this is what it looks like so if you go down to fishing, iron fishing, yeah, it's level 20 for this. You can also unlock um, tier two bait at this point. The bait is super useful only if you want to catch fish faster. I'll show you that in a moment. So first thing we want to do is we want to go out to the hub. Okay, so I'm going to drop down here, go to the hub. Okay, so we are in the hub. This is from relative to this place, right? This is, the, this is where you first come through. You're going to run all the way down as you typically would to slime. So slime portal is straight down. And a lot of people kept asking me this. I even got lost. I went over to the docks. I went all over the place and I couldn't find it. And someone told me finally, I forgot who it was, but someone told me finally that I needed to go over here. Now here's the slime portal. And you might be wondering where it's at. Well, if you turn around, there's the fishing portal. So go through here. Here's the fishing festival. I was thinking they should add like fish, like models or something, or like, like a, like maybe dots or something to show you the event or honestly this probably should have been near the entrance or something but um this works and then they also have these like banners these are the old fish banners from the old event but you come through here it's going to teleport you now this does not work on vip servers you have to be on public all right so right here you can see at the bottom it says fish event starts soon fishing contest will start in 40 seconds so what you want to do is have your fishing pull out um i'm not going to 
start it quite yet, but this is the leaderboard you're going to see. Also, if you tab um, and look at the player list, there shows points right here. That's all the different points for the current um, fishing event. It resets after every fishing contest. So once the next one starts, it resets to zero. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to talk to this fisherman here to see everything. So he says, I thought I saw tuna on the slime island. Maybe it was just a mirage. You can go either redeem tickets or you can view the shop. Um, viewing the shop, this basically just means you can sell fish if you want to get rid of the stuff that you, you, know, you caught. You can do that. But really what you want to be looking at is redeem tickets. So if you go to redeem tickets, you'll notice that these are the things you can redeem tickets for. I'll explain how you get tickets in a minute. So first of all, you got this new trophy. This is awesome because it's the, it's the first trophy that I've ever seen that has color too. So it's really, really special. It's a modern trophy. Um, if you haven't been keeping up with the original fishing trophy, that thing is worth like well over a billion coins already. It's insane. The value's gone up, but granted it has been a long time. I think it's been like over a year. So it's, it's value's gone up quite a bit. You also have the lucky fishing rod. Now to my knowledge, this is not truly lucky unless they finally made these things lucky in previous history with lucky items like the lucky watering can that's cletus's lucky watering can and cletus's lucky sickle um those didn't actually add any kind of luck whatsoever um, i think these are just more collectible items and they don't really have much value per se like yeah they're kind of there but they're not huge huge collector items um this one is this one is not because the difference between these is that you can display this trophy and everyone wants to display trophies all the time and then finally you have the trout's fury this is a weapon i am curious I am super curious to see what this weapon does. Um, it's just like a fish that I think you can slap around. Maybe it has a good knockback. But Trout's Fury, I'm going to be getting and grinding all of these. I probably won't be doing that during this video, but I will be explaining everything just for, you know, being able to get you started in this event. I'm hearing a lot of players already have like well over a thousand tickets. So it's not that bad. Um, on average, you get maybe 10 tickets uh maybe 10 tickets every 10 minutes or so um depending on your your progress now the way this works is you can see right here these are the um current points the ordering is still broken for this they had problems with this back then with the original event and you can see like the ordering gets all wacky but you can see right here this is the current ordering of things but number one place you're gonna get more tickets now, the other thing you're going to notice is inside the quest log, you have some quests. Fishing Festival Quest. And you can see on the right, it says Fishing Festival. Um, catch 50 fish. I've got 32 of 50 fish caught so far. And if I complete these Fishing Festival Quests, I get tickets too. So I think this one gives you like 100 tickets for completing 50 fish, which is a lot of tickets. So you'll see that in a moment. So here's my current fishing tickets right here. So if you want to see like how many you have so far, it is in your inventory. They are non-tradable. So if you think you could just trade for them, that's not the case. You can't trade for them. Um, you can use these to claim rewards. So I have 63. If I want to get that fishing trophy, I need 450. That's a lot of grinding, but we're going to go and jump into this. Um, we're not going to win this one because we kind of started a little late. So what you want to do is you just hold down and cast into the, the pond here. Now, if you have issues and you're on mobile, there is a known issue. I'm going to explain how to get around that. So there's a known issue currently in the game where um, you can't cast because this UI here is covering your cast button. You can hide this UI. You can do so under the quest log. So if you go over to quest log, you can go under in progress and then you can scroll down to anything that has a gold star and that's how you hide it so i've got mine displayed right now um, but you can hide it by unstarring it and that should fix your mobile issue now some people are reporting i think they just don't know how to fish um, because they are having issues on pc as well um, what you need to do is you just hold down i'll show you in a second so you hold down to cast to see that little progress bar let go it's got to be on the water you can't do it on just ground you got to do it on the water and you wait for a while, see the fish is kind of automatically coming to it. You can fish anywhere. You don't have to go and point or aim. And then here it says hold down to keep the red box um, within the fish zone. So right here, you need to chase this little area. And the longer you keep it on the fish, see how I just caught something. So you want to keep it on the fish and then you can catch. So I just placed bronze. I only got plus two tickets because I think I did worse than bronze. See, that's just kind of a consolation prize. Now you can keep fishing if you have quests. Like you can just keep going. This is the, I'm trying to get the 50 completed here. Um, I already have 270 on my alt account because initially I couldn't load into the game. But uh, right now we are trying to get 450 on my main account. Now, one thing to note, you'll see I have bait. If I go like this, you'll notice that I'm not catching very quickly. So you can go and eat bait and you can craft that like i said you can get that from the workbench and tier two is going to give you 25 percent fishing speed increase it's not going to speed up this process it's going to speed up this process right here when it's over the thing it finishes faster so that progress bar finishes faster than usual so it's 25 percent faster so you can actually catch a lot more doing this um the other thing i would say as a tip is you don't want to hold down as long like i've been so i'm going to show you in a second here hey, this is a good item right here green's good 
Um, okay, so see, you want to do a short cast if you can. So the longer you're holding, it doesn't really help you. So just do a short cast and it's going to go much faster. There's a short cast. Now I'm currently at six. I think I'm like tied for silver maybe. So we got to, we got to go fast. I believe matches or rounds are like five minutes each. I'm not hundred percent on that, but it's about that. All right. So you can see, I just finished that quest. I have a hundred plus plus 100 tickets now for finishing that next one's a little harder it's catch 10 any uncommon or greater rarity that'll give you a lot of tickets too oh, i got a pearl all right so i placed silver i got five tickets so i think they might i think maybe it's based on where you place in silver but i know i've gotten like 10 tickets many times and i did not get gold oh interesting so one thing i just noticed i didn't notice this before they have other types of rewards so check this out so if you go and talk to the fisherman um you can redeem tickets with these guys too for different pirate items pretty cool update let me know how it goes for your trophies curious um definitely worth getting even at least at least if you do not have the time to grind all four you know all 450 tickets at least get the fish because people are going to want this weapon a lot and it's going to go up in value quite a bit so don't just like abandon it's only 100 wait is it 200 fishing tickets so like that's only 30 more tickets for me you could probably get this done within the time needed my assumption is this event will be going on for a week i doubt they're going to pull it unlike previous events where they actually pulled it after i think tuesday or something like that so it's probably gonna be a week-long event that'd be my guess um i don't know if they're gonna extend it or not but just try to get it grinded out before i would say midweek to i would say before you know friday of next week um or this following week just so you don't miss out on it anyway thanks so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and good luck on your fishing peace